With change comes opportunity. In studying this memory of Aldrin Sov, a truer nature of the nightmares is revealed. They are born of darkness, and drawn to it like moths to a flame. Callus is such a fire. Through the Leviathan, Callus's mind reaches down to the Lunar Pyramid, forging the connection that draws the nightmares to him. And should that connection be severed... We can stop Callus dead in his tracks before he causes any more damage. Your success with Crow isn't going to go unnoticed. Callus will push back. He may be doing so already. Recently I've been... visited in the Helm and elsewhere. By one of the Nightmare's heirs bound to the Crown. We need to push harder. I will be accompanying your next Severance mission to weaken Callus's connection to the Pyramid. You and I will get this done. Go to the Leviathan and harvest the necessary essence of the Nightmares. We must enact the next ritual of severance before it is too late. And Guardian, keep watch over Zavala. As with Crow, the Commander may find confronting his past to be the most difficult mission he has ever faced. Second severance is at hand. We proceed as you wish, Commander. But whatever you hear, you must press forward. Understood. Thank you, Eris. Set your amplifiers. Sever Callus's connection. And tread carefully. I see your new protégé, Zavala. I wonder, have you told them what became of the last warrior you trained? Amplifier online. I'm detecting the commanders as well. As we learned with Crow, these devices will help. But our success hinges on resolving Zavala's inner demons. Guardian, how can you trust Zavala when you keep secret the life he led before the city? I knew him before he was your commander. When he was young and boastful. We used to sit together, listening to the Sekiras. He listens to them sometimes, still. They remind me of what I lost. Focus, Zavala. I am. Why do you leave our names unspoken? Do the memories of that time pain you so much? Security lockdown lifted across all nearby bulkheads. You are clear to proceed. Fire team, come in. We are with you. There was... I was ambushed by scorn and... A horror I couldn't bring down. I, I, I couldn't reach you. He is shaking. Zava, tell them you are afraid. Confide in them. Why hide your feelings? It doesn't matter how I feel. That is why you would fail. You put your duty before your heart. The phantoms trapped in this fetid hull sustain something that is growing. Zavala's nightmare is a part of it, but each amplifier further isolates her presence from Callus's hold. Stay with me a little longer. Life moved on around us, but we can wait here for a moment. You chose to move when you could have stayed. Safi, but don't. You have made your choice. Go, go on ahead. I'll find my own way. Final amplifier set. I must be seeing things. The scorn are wearing... <sighs> Impossible. The House of Devils is gone. Your eyes deceive you. Don't be fooled. You 
have reached the Severance site, Commander. The Guardian is closing on your position. The brave Zavala holds his offering in clenched fingers. Afraid to lose the pain he has kept close for so long. It's all I have left. You hoard our memory like a starving animal hoards bones. I'd call that reverence. I mourned. I begged for your forgiveness. What more can I do? Speak our names. Release us. Guardian. You said you mourned our death, Zavala. Stood at our graves, cried out in prayer to your traveler. For a long time. What good did it do? No ghosts found us. Instead, the Traveler gave the light to your enemies. It's not that simple. It is that simple. That abandoner deserves your duty more than me, more than our son. It is why you left us both to die alone. Don't... use him like that. I chose you. I tried to give it away. You killed him, as much as the Fallen did. You wove your gallantry into his bones. My son's killers should meet. She's slipping away from me! Strength, Zavala. See through your guilt. We cannot proceed until he finds forgiveness. Forgiveness? You shared meals with fallen behind your walls after what they took. This new life dishonors your old one. It dishonors your son. Hakim. Your true family wouldn't torment you. This is your grief, Zavala. My husband is not a liar. And I am speaking his words. He knows what he is. A hollow man leading others to die. For a silent god. Enough. Guardian, bring the commander back before any more damage is done. A hollow man leading others to die. For a silent god. Is that what I've become? Have the years whittled away my nerve? I was convinced that seeing her might make things easier. That her absence cuts deeper than her presence. But they are equally sharp. Sophia. She wants me to speak her name. To confide my feelings in you. What good does it do? Go and see Eris. I'll tell her you're coming. She'll you know what to say. Zavala will not speak to you of his regrets. But I will not let him bear them alone. Here, listen closely. Whispers and confessions as I have heard them. He would tell it differently. But memory clings so loosely to the truth. I will share what I know.
Before the vanguard, before the city, there was a woman. Her name was Sophia, and she was a surgeon. She came to Lord Saladin's gates, offering her skills in exchange for shelter. Zavala was his protege then. He had been taught his purpose, and he followed it without question. She maddened him. He infuriated her. But respect grew to admiration, and admiration to love. Does it surprise you that Zavala loved? She was meticulous and gentle, strong-willed, stubborn, fearless. It began with an infant orphaned in a fallen raid. Saladin had taught Zavala duty, war, and the light. But Sophia showed him that he was more than an instrument of violence. She had one life, and she would share it with him. They called the boy Hakim. <laughs> and he called Zavala father. In his joy, Zavala thought to abandon the light, as he had abandoned Saladin's ways. That joy ended as it began, with their son. When Hakim followed his father into battle, Zavala could not protect him, and Sophia could not save him. Hakim died in his mother's arms. Zavala wanted her forgiveness. But she knew there was nothing to forgive. And that giving up the light... ...would be no absolution for him. They returned to the lives they once led. She found love again. She had a daughter. And when Sophia passed, he asked her to forgive him. Through each generation, he mourned. He asked for their forgiveness. And still, he has not found it. Zavala's wounds run deeper than he allows us to see. The lengths he has gone to cut himself off from his heart is... familiar. It is through accepting what we cannot change where we find the strength to move forward. We grieve, we move, and we grow. Zavala only knows grief. But perhaps there is hope in others in the council of friends and family. There is no running from his truth any longer. The past is laid bare, and so too the commander's heart. Resume your patrols aboard the Leviathan Guardian, and I will see what can be done elsewhere. Hey, Commander. How are you holding up? I've been better. Sounds like you have too. Yeah. Pretty tore up inside. Any little thing sets me off. I'd have said some hurtful stuff to somebody who didn't deserve it. We've all been at our worst. When we're hurt, when we're afraid, we all fall apart. Feels like I'm held together by duct tape and spit lately. In the last few weeks have opened up some. Reminded me of important people I've lost. My wife. My son. Yeah. Yeah. I know that kind of hurt. Other way around, though. I still think about my folks. But I, uh... I can't really remember their voices anymore. I can't remember Hakeem's voice, either. I try. 
tell me about him? Your wife? Someday. Not today. Not yet. Want some company down in your office anyway? We don't have to talk. Maybe we just sit? I'd like that. Thank you, Amanda. Ain't nothing. It's what family does. We begin again. With fresh eyes and open hearts. I believe the commander has found the strength he needs. So too must we marshal ourselves for the task ahead. For there is more at stake here. As time progresses, Callus' hold on the Lunar Pyramid grows in strength. For each connection we have severed, the remaining grows stronger. The nightmares only increase in number, and soon I fear they will overflow from the Leviathan and spread across the system. Zavala is ready to face his past again. Collect the necessary reagents for the next ritual and join him on the Leviathan. We cannot afford to fail again. Eris, what happens to her if we succeed? That is unclear. I'm sorry. My love is still afraid to let me go. They travel up all you all from your graves to be broken over and over again. An endless sacrifice. But that is not my purpose. Let me rest. Strange. As the underbelly succumbs to this transformation, it has begun to elicit a constant subsonic frequency. Is Callus doing this to the ship? Through the pyramid, yes. It is breaking the Leviathan's bones to reset them elsewhere. So he is not so different from your god. From the god of our son's murderers. The Traveler is not my god! It is said broken bones heal stronger than before, but this is a lie. They are forever weakened. Was Hakim's death a breakage to reset you under the Traveler's watch? Am I the weakness you carry forever? The lockdown is lifted. Prepare yourself for whatever we've unleashed. Zavala sees her in space in these phantoms. And in you, Gata. I want to see him. I, I close my eyes, but they're only flashes. I try to remember him exactly as he was. I try... I see his face, too. Anemic and choked. Fear and pain I cannot stop. Then nothing. And I am alone. Forgive me. This frequency you isolated, it's almost like a voice muddled in the dissonant churn between Pyramid and Leviathan. It's resonating through phantom and nightmare alike, manipulating their psychic connection to the darkness. It must end. We can remember why we lived our life without hating why we lost it. I hate my son's murderers. The god they followed. That it has taken you too. That's not fair. Live with your decisions. That and duty. Of all you have to do to use. I'll set this amplifier, Guardian, and meet you ahead. All amplifiers broadcasting. Isolation complete. Now there's only the severance. Zavala is ready, Guardian. See to your side of things, and we will prevail. I've reached the site, preparing the harvester. This mission won't bring you the peace you desire. Your devotion to the Traveler rewards you only with war and death. Never peace. I'm not doing this for the Traveler. I'm doing it for you. Your hands are pressed against a wound to staunch bleeding. It steals through your fingers. You are soaked in it. 
I knew when to let go. When to wash the blood from my hands. Do you? Guardian. How many pawns has the Traveler sacrificed to conscript Amanda Zavala into its service? When it leaves you too, will you become like the Fallen? Guardians stand for more than the Traveler. We make our own fate. I wish I could step back into that life. Or that you could step into mine. What would I do with this broken man you've become? You teach me to heal again. We'd watch our scars fade together. Safi? I... There's so much. The years have made apologies lose their meaning. But I am sorry. You can only apologize for something that is your fault. Hakim wouldn't want to see you mourn. He'd want his father to be proud of his courage. As I am proud of yours. Hakim should know his father feels nothing but pride. That's why I trusted him to protect you. You've given me a lot to consider about where I put my faith. Analyzing the whims of a silent god? You'll mold those thoughts over into dust. There's not always an answer. Let go and rest. Yesterday I was too tired to rest. Today, Safi, Hakim. I'll find you in my dreams. I'm glad it was you standing with me. Zavala should be commended. It is not easy to forgive one's own regrets. Another thread frays between Pyramid and Leviathan, Guardian. And yet I feel the next will test us most of all. When I first saw Sophia return as a nightmare, I was afraid. I didn't want her to reveal what I'd done. I did everything I could to save Hakim. I can accept that now, but back then, guilt, like gravity, warps our perception of what is real. His death carved out a place in me, and everyone I lose under my command only compounds that feeling. Sophia knew that. She understood that losing him only pushed me further toward being a guardian. She knew that I couldn't stand by and watch the world burn. Because in her own way, neither could she. After everything we faced aboard the Leviathan, I'm left to wonder, have I made the right choices? I don't regret all the good the city has done, or that I was a part of it. But what it took to get here, what it's taken to keep it, our minds weren't meant for this many years. Like so many other things, we have a word for eternity without the capacity to comprehend what it actually means. When is enough? Enough. Maybe it's time to let go.
It is done. Another of Callus's connections to the Lunar Pyramid is severed. We are poised to strike the final blow. And yet, I find myself unable to enjoy this success. It has come too easily. Only one connection remains to the Lunar Pyramid, and Callus has barely reacted. There is a piece of his agenda that we cannot yet see. I know it. To be this close and still feel as though it is but a mirage is infuriating. I will find the answer to our final severance. For now, continue your exploration of the Leviathan. Any piece of information, no matter how small, could change everything. Conquering one's demons is a noble task. There are many stories of Cabal heroes who did the same. Now, they live forever as legends. I don't want to be a legend, Colonel. Too late. Even we have stories about the great Commander Zavala. Only we do not call him that. Did you need something else? This is not a formal communication. This is... private reckoning. One warrior to another. I see. I fought countless battles where my life was on the line. Won and lost them. Nothing like this. Never was hard. <sighs> As I told your crow once, battles fought in the theater of the mind and heart are just as brutal as ones fought with flesh and bone. We all bear our scars. Victories, defeats, some openly with pride, some others hidden away beneath layers of shameful armor. This battle was the most honest of your risen life. You won. I don't feel like I've won any battles. I just feel tired and old. And yet, you still stand. 